Welcome back. This is Tula and welcome to Tula's Tarot. For those of you that are visiting for the first time, welcome. So for today's pick a pile, I have a sneak peek into who's coming into your life romantically. Who is this next person that you're going to have a love affair with? Is it going to last? What are the dynamics? Are they really going to be into you or are they trying to add you in as a side piece? Okay, loves, in order to align with your pile, I always suggest please pause the video. If you are immediately drawn to it, you can go down to the timestamps and click on your pile. Okay, loves, for those of you that chose the first pile. So I'm going to start off with the zodiac signs, which are coming through as Aquarius. I see Aries, Pisces, Leo, Libra coming in rather strong, and Virgo. Now... The person that is about to come into your life, I'm going to say you do not know him or her. You do not know this person. And I feel like some of you are going to be away from your usual, um, what do I want to say, where you live or where you work. I feel you may meet this person if it's work related, it's going to be at an offsite training somewhere far that you have to go training for. Or if um, it's not work related. It could be in terms of meeting them somewhere far from your home. Maybe you're visiting someone and you're going to meet them there. And this person is really, really, let me say, this person has got it together. This person has no drama. This person is about as single as they could be. And they are very good financially, very good financially. I do see that there is somewhat of an age gap. Now, I am seeing beautiful dark features. It could be dark hair, dark eyes um the eyebrows are really prominent there's something with their eyebrows that they're rather full and their their gaze is really mesmerizing and very powerful with their with their um when they really have a good look at you i feel okay i this is what i feel i feel when you begin talking with this individual that they're gonna stare at you not in a creepy way or anything or not in the, the crazy intensity that a Scorpio would, but in such a way that I'm feeling Aries energy. They're going to be so enamored by you, so taken back by you, so interested in you. Um, they're going to feel so free and light-footed and, and happy around you. So you're pulling that energy out from within when they are going to be around you. This person, very well-to-do. A lot of academic background, a lot of accolades that they have worked hard for, uh, very proud individuals. Again, unattached. I don't see any drama in the background. This person will be traveling to come see you. You are actually their, their ten of cups, their happiness. They have no time for drama. I'm going to say that. So this is where Spirit's um, message for you is through Archangel Jeremiah with a life review. Please take inventory of your life and make sure to resolve, change, heal anything that is unbalanced. And as this Libra card is here with balance and unbalanced, it's very important that you remain balanced in your life, now that you don't have anyone lingering from the past, or maybe some of you may be afraid to be alone for the time being, or it's fun, why not? You already know them until I find the right one. No, you don't need that drama. And this person doesn't want any of that. And with this person, I do see that there is like so much potential of such happiness. This person will actually support you in all your endeavors that you take on. Very supportive individual, very loving, very kind-hearted, very, I have to say, a very youthful energy this person has, this soul. Not to say that this person is young or immature, absolutely not, but they still have that hunger for life. A lot of energy. Some of you will have to really keep up with them. Definitely unexpected. I know wherever you're going to be going, whether it's work-related training, you're not going to sit there and wonder, hmm, am I going to meet someone today romantically? No. Or if you're going to visit some of your friends and you're having like a, a getaway somewhere together, you're really not going to be expecting this. So this is going to be kind of be out of the blue. This person will also, you'll see that this person will actually stand out kind of will go against the grain is not one to really conform in terms of just going with 
the crowd, being a, a follower, a, a sheep or whatnot, they really stand on their own. There is attention. They, they can walk into a room and people will notice this individual. This person will like to adorn you as well, to please you, to take you out, to enjoy life with you. So for them, meeting you and 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 getting to know you, they're going to see you as value added to their life because they are perfectly happy being single and you're going to add that happiness that the divine knows they need, that you need too. But loves, for some of you, not all of you, you do need to let your whoever's lingering around because I feel some of you, there's someone kind of in the background, you need to cut them loose. Even spirit is saying here. So that's what I see for you, pile one, and enjoy. And please, when a time does come and you meet this person, come back. Let me know. I'd love to read your comments. Okay, loves, for those of you that picked pile two, first let me say, as a reader, what it's like to go for the energy from one reading to another. So this is very opposite of pile one. This is actually someone you know, my loves. And I'm starting to feel very sad and very upset. And um, I have to say your person, person that's going to come back around is someone you know, someone that you're in separation with, someone that you're in conflict with. This person, now, not for all of you, but some of you, you see the serpent here, the snake. This person was tempted. For some of you, they went out of the relationship. They stepped out. And it was horrible, horrible. The fighting, the arguing, uh, the betrayal, the lies, it just added up and it got ugly. You basically booted them. For what I'm seeing here with this young child, Page of Pentacles, I strongly feel there's a young child. Strongly, I feel it's a young boy. For some of you, it could be a daughter, but young child, young children, but they're young. And that is an important factor in this connection because I feel that even though your person may have betrayed you or there was conflict with you, they're really a loving father. And I am picking up father figure. I'm feeling the person that you are, are thinking about, missing, wondering, asking tarot about is really the man, the father of your child. This person has had plenty of time to really reflect. And this is serious because this is not someone I feel he has questioned himself like how did it happen to where his integrity was challenged? Cuz we all fall to some form of sin. To a degree, that's why, you know, it's not fair to judge everybody or really anybody. But I do feel that this person has judged themselves very harshly, very harshly, really had. And really, because you booted them, they had no time but to think. They miss you terribly. So they have been thinking about where they went wrong, really evaluating their life. I feel for some of you, they have had a loss. Perhaps they lost their mother or a family member very close to them. Still doesn't okay those that were tempted and fell into the temptation of a third party. Again, not all of you, so don't come at me with that. But this person has really had time to think. So when they're at work, they think of you. Definitely miss their, their child. You're, and I don't feel like you denied them contact with their child, but they miss being around them so much. When they come home from work, they can't stop thinking about you and your child. And it's not always pretty and it's not always easy, but I have to say this really had your person see things in a clear perspective, them leaving. There's a renewed passion in them, a determination, that kind of energy where it's Mars and that's where Aries comes in. 
this person is coming around again and they're not coming around immaturely they're not coming around to play they're not coming because they're confused they may want to test the waters with you no they're coming with a love offer i do see a renewal i do see a coming together this person has courage and this person is coming to the state of deciding yes i do want to be with you i will fight for you i will do what it takes for us to be one again i will mend this hurt there's a message that came through that i felt this person meant nothing for some of you they it didn't go as far as you think although that doesn't matter to you but for pile two i do want to say the signs that are i'm seeing here definitely i see Plenty of water, strong Pisces, strong Scorpio. Of course, there's the Cancer. As I see here, Aries, of course, with Mars-related courage, it, it should be of no surprise, but all signs are courageous when they really want to go for something. But again, Aries here too. I'm seeing Leo, Gemini, Taurus, and Virgo. So a lot of their current state is really self-reflection, isolation, really looking at the situation mourning what's happened also mourning the loss that they had as i mentioned earlier but they love you they feel so deeply for you you have a child or children they are young some of you they still want another more children with you they want that family back. They are willing to show you that they will protect you. Almost like a gatekeeper kind of mentality. Um, they're coming back around pile two. And so Spirit is saying with this Courage card, using um, Archangel Ariel, be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Now that, I asked Spirit when I was shuffling the cards, what message does spirit have for you collective specifically? And some of you may be afraid what others may think. Some of you may be afraid that your friends may think, oh, you're going back to them. Why? You don't need this. But let me remind you, sometimes when people are not doing well in their own lives, they will happily give advice to those that may need it. No matter what your stance is, whether you accept this person back or not, have the courage to do so. Make sure you're clear-minded. Make sure your heart and mind align with each other. Alignment is everything. It's when we live in our authenticity. But yes, this person has missed you, has cried over you. They feel so empty. They just don't... You are really their other half. I feel some of you, just to say this before I close out the reading for Pile 2, when they used to introduce you, they would say, this is my better half. Okay, loves, for those of you that chose Pile 3, wow. Hmm. Let me first start by telling you the zodiac signs that I see here definitely seeing the water so we definitely have our pisces cancer scorpio there is strong gemini here there's taurus leo and strong libra coming in and also strong aquarius okay now having said that i am seeing you know this person there is somebody that has not been able to get you out of your out of their head so you really are the one occupying their thoughts and i feel that that there was a decision that was made to fight for independence to go ahead and walk away from this connection and collective i'm thinking this could possibly be you i really don't feel it was your person there was something that demanded you to walk away a judgment call and i really feel you are really independent and I feel you were very independent before you met this person too. But there was some kind of conflict and this person has not been able to get over you. You see, the majority of these cards for how they're feeling is really with the swords, what they're thinking. 
you are in their mind. They, with the four of swords, they're not able to get you out of their head. They miss you in everything that they do. And it's apparent to them. I feel for some of you that you kind of pushed them away, but wanting to see that they would fight back and, and, and come back to you. But they really thought that's what you wanted and they, they left. But they are miserable without you. They really are. They feel depleted. They feel sad. Um, the food doesn't even taste the same eating. There could be a world of beauty all around them, but all they see and feel is the heartache of not being with you. So they are in their feels about you. With this, These emotions are, are starting to come up. Because, yeah, they've been thinking about you, but now they're feeling it, and it's building momentum to where they're going to come and communicate with you. They're going to offer you the world. Whether or not you choose to accept it, or to continue on with it, that's up to you. Because there's a fierce independence I feel with you collective. There really is. So I don't know if you feel like you want to be tied down or, or boggled down or however you express it. But maybe communication won't be so bad because they do want to offer you the world. And I do see it's quite possible, but I'm... I'm I'm picking up maybe communication, the way you both communicate with each other. Possibly quite a bit of under, misunderstandings. And then there are hurt feelings afterwards. So it's the resolve. It's how you communicate and the resolve and disagreements that, that needs to be worked on if you were to be with this person. Because I have to say, you're just so opposite. Like even with your love languages, the way you express and receive love is very different. But it's not to say that you can't have the world of happiness together. You sure as heck can. Yes, you can. I have to say, Spirit is using the Healthy Lifestyle card specifically for you. When shuffling the cards, I ask Spirit, what Archangel message do you have for the collective? So for loves, this is specifically for you. Healthy Lifestyle. So using Archangel Raphael, it says, eat a healthful diet. Get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. If you have slacked with that in any way, get back on track. It's never too late. Some of you, I feel you over-occupy yourself so that you don't have to think of these things, to feel these emotions. And some of you may have begun indulging in overeating. Again, healthy lifestyle. Maybe meditation walks in the park, yoga, going to the gym, taking a brisk walk with your dog, walking up and down your stairs, however it is, but incorporate more healthy habits into your life. But that's what I see for you, Pile 3. This person has been thinking about you and they are coming back with communication to you. So expect that soon.